this is Muneet Khatri and welcome back to another episode of iGeeks Blog. So guys, uh, basically, are you one of the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus user? Or basically, you are one of the owners of iPhone 6 or 6 Plus devices and suddenly, your touch screen is become, uh, basically, it's unresponsive. It's not responding towards your touches, right? So basically guys, if this is the case with you, you, this could be the best place you could ever drop onto. Yes guys, this video we would be taking a look at how to go ahead and fix up the errors that the iPhone 6 or 6 plus screen has become in unresponsive. So guys, let's not waste any bit of time and get right into this video. So let's get started. So guys, basically there are three methods in order to go ahead and solve this issue. Yes, there are three methods and we would be dealing all the way to all those three methods and how to go ahead with those executing those three methods. So the very very first method we have that is to restart basically you need to go ahead and uh, hard restart your device so in order to go ahead and hard restart your device what you need to do is just tap on the power button and the home button simultaneously all the way around so let's try this out uh, just pro hold and press them for around 10 seconds you need to basically count in for 10 seconds and once you press them for 10 seconds you need to just uh, hold release them when you see the apple logo yes once you see the apple logo you need to just release them and well, once the hard reset process is done this is that's it and uh, now your device is just go will go ahead and reboot up all right so guys i hope this method worked for you but don't worry if this didn't work for you we have the second step yet to go but basically many of the owners just like you reported that their iPhone started responding to their touches just after re how basically considering that hard resetting hard resetting their devices so guys now moving up to the second step and the second step is known as reset basically by suddenly or you get some touch responding onto your device what you need to do is just reset all the settings onto your device so how to do that you might be thinking how to do that basically so now let's go ahead and reset all the settings so what you need to do just go ahead and hit on settings application you would drop down into the settings option scroll all the way down and search for general and tap over general once you're there in general, scroll all the way down and the last option you get is reset. And your, what you need to do is just tap and hit over reset all settings. Once you tap over reset all settings, all your settings just says the Wi-Fi passwords or... So guys, once you uh, now what you need to do once you're there in the reset option, just tap or reset all settings. Once you tap or reset all the settings, you would be uh, asked to enter your password. So you just need to enter your password and wait for a couple of minutes so that the iPhone can go ahead and reset all its settings over your device, which are the, the settings basically which are saved onto your device would be reset it and you would have some fresh settings option which are to be set up. Basically, many of the iPhone users or the owners did report that they were able to go ahead and and successfully do this and uh, they were able to have responding their iPhone yes their iPhone started responding after this process so guys now you're being worried that yet after the second procedure my iPhone did not start responding to my touches so basically don't worry guys we yet have the third and that's the ultimate step that's left out you need to go ahead and restore your iPhone as a new iPhone yes all the settings all the content onto your device would be lost yes the, there would be no options left or there would be no nothing option available over here and uh, it would be just like new so you can basically go ahead with updating your iPhone software or basically second option could be you to restore basically if you're running iOS 8.4 you can update to iOS 8.4.1 or basically if you're already on iOS 8.4.1 just go ahead and restore your device as a new one and you would be able to basically fingers crossed you would be able to do that your iPhone would start responding to your touches so guys, uh, let's not waste any bit of time and uh, let's go ahead with the procedure of restoring your iPhone as a new one. So the very first step you need to go ahead and take care is that you need to drop down into settings. Under settings you need to drop down into iCloud and turn off find my iPhone. Yes guys, before you go ahead with restoring your iPhone, you need to go ahead and reset or you need to go ahead and turn off find my iPhone to successfully implement this procedure of restoring iPhone. Also guys in order to go ahead and restore you just need to grab on to your so guys in order to go ahead and restore your iPhone as a new one you need to grab on to your uh, basically you can basically grab on to your Mac or PC and drop down into iTunes so once you're there in iTunes when you need to connect your iPhone with a USB data cable and upside over here in the left section you would get an option over here that's iPhone once you hit on to your iPhone you would be taken into the panel for your iPhone settings and over here at the center you get some information about what iOS version your iPhone is running 
and beneath that you have an option for check for update and restore in our case this time we need to go ahead and tap our restore iPhone so guys once you tap our restore iPhone you would get a pop-up from Apple that your iPhone would be restored and all the settings would be lost and all as well as all the content would be lost off your iPhone you just need to go ahead and tap on restore and update or basically just restore your device and you need to wait for, wait for a couple of seconds and your device would be as good as new device Alright so guys I hope this entire video was really helpful for you this was really all these three methods were really helpful and you were able to solve your issue uh, so guys that's about it if you enjoyed this video please do not uh, hesitate to go ahead and smash that like button down right there also if it's much appreciated if you would like to again and again have such interesting interesting content please do uh, subscribe to our channel we have animation right there or you can basically smash that subscribe button down right there and that's about it and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.